This is the technical difficulties and we've all been on adventures. I love how you're starting this episode angry because we've been pissing you off. <laughs> yes, but I'm also well aware that I'm about to get rinsed for this one, all right? Because it's, it's my turn and I... Now, welcome to the episode of Tom's Already Done Anything, so he tries to find something to do for this. This is something I tried to do like a year ago, two years ago. It didn't work out. I've been looking for an excuse to go and try again. And do you, what, do you go to a pub like a real boy? I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say I was a real boy. Pint of brown beer, please. <laughs> you meet up with a friend and have a coffee. I even did that for a video. <laughs> Yeah, watch the, watch the... You've got 20 minutes of Tom eating shreddies, everybody. I'm just gonna, just gonna get ahead of it. Good morning. It's very bright and very cold here. Uh, the landscape behind me looks a little bit unusual. That's because this is Iceland, and six kilometres that way is a volcano spewing lava. And I've wanted to see lava for a very, very long time. Uh, I was here last year, and the volcano stopped erupting on the morning that my plane landed. So... A couple of weeks ago, my contact here gets in touch and says it's erupting again. There's a new, uh, a new I don't know what it'd be called, a new, a new blowy up bit. Come and see lava. Contact's busy, so it is just me and this GoPro. About a six kilometer hike up hill. See that hill? Going up that hill. <laughs> now, I remember last time you went <sighs> to see that. Um, yep that eruption. I remember you telling me you were erupting at the same time. Yeah. So the So did you have the shits this time as well? No, I didn't. <laughs> the the short version of that story <laughs> is that I I like I landed having checked the previous day like yeah, volcanoes there. All good. Going to go film the volcano, going to film all the stuff around how it all works. And it just it just stopped. It just you know. And so I tried to make a video. It's, oh, it's fine, I can still film the emergency response teams, everything like that. And then I got food poisoning. <laughs> Just really brutal food poisoning for the rest of the three days I had there. <laughs> and it was just, it was horrible. And it's like, so, yeah, he just gets back in touch and goes, hey, the volcano's going again. I'm like, right, there are cheap flights. I checked, like, there's still some cheap flights. I can still get this just in on budget. I'm going to go. And I'm not eating discount seafood this time. <laughs> uh, Icelandic Mexican fusion cuisine was the... Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't... You walked into that one. Monty, yeah, that's yeah, your own I fault. I believe they call that Montezuma's Revenge, yes. don't they? And what I think's funny is, like, we talk a lot. We're friends. We talk outside of videos. Would you believe? Yeah. yeah. And so I regularly and vaguely know where you are. Yeah. And you've been to Iceland without me knowing. Yes. <laughs> um, you know why that was? Because we're not allowed to tell yeah. each other. Obligatory joke. So what? Uh, I went to Lidl the other day and didn't tell anyone either. <laughs> There is an Iceland in Iceland. No! <laughs> it's in Reykjavik on, like, on the outskirts of the round. I drove past it and was like, I'm, g I'm getting a photo of that. I'm g there, there is an Iceland in Iceland. It's like, it's like if, if some Scandinavian company opened up in England and just called England. Why do they need an Iceland in Iceland? They still, they still buy frozen stuff. I suppose. So this is the route map they put at the start of the trail. I'm all the way here. There's a long climb up, 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 up. It's about six kilometres. Now the... The uh, one I tried to see last year, just about here, the new eruption is up top, even further, even higher, in the bit that's marked hazard zone. So, you know, that's going to be fun. So is that AF Fiat the Leokuts that was the one that caused all the problems with the cloud earlier? The one that people no. call unpronounceable, but it's AF Fiat the uh, Leokut. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> you showing off, but I think you, you, I think you nearly got that right. AF Fiat the I think you ended Michael that with... Michael Flatley's yogurt. <laughs> yeah, yes. you, you ended that with flat yogurt, which is nearly there. Uh, no, this is the one on the Reykjanes Peninsula, which I'm also mispronouncing. So it's um, not AF Fiat Le Yogurt. No, no, it's not. It's, no, it's not that one. After the eruption started last year, the Icelandic authorities came in and added basic infrastructure. Most of the paths were laid down by uh, hikers because Iceland's got right to Rome, but the whole area got 4G as well. They just rolled out load little base stations to make sure that everyone was as safe as can be when, you know, there's a volcano spewing lava. <laughs> because they know what you lot are like. Yeah. Full disclosure, I uh, have not checked any of the volcano forecasts because they, they have those now. They have, like, seismic monitoring and things like that. Uh, I was a bit worried that I would turn up and there'd be someone in the parking lot with the Icelandic authorities saying, oh, no, it's too dangerous. You can't come in today. You know, there's fumes everywhere. Or, uh, no, sorry, volcano stopped. But there wasn't. And there's still like literal busloads of tourists arriving uh, to do the viewpoint that they drove past. Um, 
I keep passing people on the trail, so... So there's, there's a parking lot with a, like, proper pay and display machine. Well, like, you have to... It, it's all credit card because it's Iceland, but, like, they've got... They've rigged up all the infrastructure around it. It's a full-on tourist attraction now, and there's just buses going to the bus parking spot and just unloading... And I'm just kind of... It is eight in the morning. I've tried to get there early to avoid the crowds. I'm just kind of backpack on route marching up this hill. Can you smell anything yet? I mean, can you smell a volcano? Yeah, it's kind of in the air in Iceland quite often because there's mm. so much geothermal stuff around that depending on which way the wind's blowing, it might be like the, the mud pots that are 10 kilometres that way. Are you, you, okay, you okay there, Gary? I was thinking about your mud pot last time you were there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Iceland defaults to an eggy waft. Yes, it does. <laughs> like Sheffield. Yes. <laughs> or Ellesmere Port, if you've been there. Oh, yeah. Iceland yeah. smells like Ellesmere Port. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not that bad. <laughs> Don't know how well you can see them, but big loads of tourists, big hill. And that's the way we're going. Interesting, Tom, that you're calling those people tourists when you yourself... Yes. <laughs> yes. Tom isn't a tourist, he's a citizen of the world. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Iceland search and rescue team, so um, either someone's lost or someone's having their lunch delivered. Yeah, they're all volunteers. Search and rescue team just stay there because someone's going to walk on the bloody lava at some point and they'll have to get rescued. <laughs> well, well, you've got to at least put your toe in it, haven't you? We've barely started the climb yet. It's only about a kilometre in. I don't want to say, like, all these tourists are wusses in their, you know, extreme cold gear and the big parkers, but... Oh, I'm already sweltering. It's 10 degrees Celsius, but our sun is so hot. We're a bit worried that I'm underprepared because they've got so much gear, but it's only a 6k hike each way. I've got flapjacks and chocolate. I'll be back by lunch and... Oh, this feels like foreshadowing of me, like, at the edge of a lava pit, dying of dehydration, but we'll see how we go. This is the opening to an episode of Icelandic Casualty. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> yeah, what yeah, yeah. could possibly go wrong? This is, this is got <laughs> flapjack and chocolate. This is foreshadowing, isn't it? It's yes. like watching the Yorkshire Air Ambulance TV programme. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is, yeah, they thought they were just going out for a... A so quick brisk walk. Just over that hill is Michael Burke doing a very, very yeah. slow <laughs> narration into a microphone. But nine, things, nine, nine. nine. <laughs> but things were to go from bad to worse. <laughs> Tom's chocolate melted and his flapjack had no raisin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no, that'd be better. Raisins in a flapjack can f*** oh, right off. Oh, right. Controversial opinions time. Yeah, the confidence was definitely misplaced. That's the climb I've just done. Those switchbacks are the next bit. <sighs> And we're not even a quarter of the way in yet. <laughs> this hike to the new eruption site is way more difficult than last time. But there's still a lot of unprepared tourists with me, so I'm going to keep going. Underprepared <laughs> are, are there, Tom? <laughs> are there some underprepared tourists underprepared there? Tourists. It, there's a, it's not like I'm hiking the wilderness. This is a, this is a well-developed trail. Tom, it doesn't there's, pe there's people who are, like, walking with sticks going slowly up this trail. It's fine. Tom, 6K flat is different to 6K up. Yeah, it is. Right? It takes an hour per 100 metres or whatever it is. I yeah. forget the actual calculator. You'll know more than me on this. I never, I never had much truck with that. I used to just set off. That, you're right, see? See, you're a f***ing machine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but when he sets off, he sets off against a vertical cliff and just ends up at the top. <laughs> he just climbs He doesn't his... climb the cliff, he just walks up. Yeah. <laughs> I have to admit, you know, oh, those switchbacks, I'm like, when does the f***ing hill start? So, <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm going up a mountain here. It's, it is a steady, slow climb. But it takes longer than you think, and yeah. it's harder than you think, and yeah. anything like that. You've probably just got trainers on, haven't you? Yeah, have of course you got... I have. Yes. He no, no, I've got, no, no I've, boots. I've got walking boots. Okay. I've got all walking right, boots. All right, all right. I'm aware in them, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, you know, some of you have the budget for a helicopter flight. Rest of us have to walk. I'd totally take the helicopter flight if I could afford it. Matt. That's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the lava from the last eruption. Went down that hill, round that corner, then over that ridge into the valley you can see below. And there's still steam coming up from it because that's still hot underneath down there. It can stay hot for months. But you are not allowed to walk out on this lava because, I mean, if you fall through, no one's going to come and get you. What's left of you anyway? It's basically still hot enough that there's big signs saying, don't walk on this. If you, because all it takes yeah, is one bit to crack through, and... Yeah. So it's just like a peat bog, but you don't get wet, you get dead. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't get wet. Get, get dead. dead. <laughs> the ground on this bit is really slippery sand and rock. It's almost scree. It's really difficult to get a foothold. You, you know you want about, oh, look at those guys with their sticks and their yeah, things. Yeah, if, yeah. if you had a stick right now. Yeah, it would have been really useful. <laughs> it? Yeah. All yeah. you've got is a selfie stick. Yeah. Okay. Crack an open water bottle number one. Beautiful view, though. <laughs> you you, you look really like you're doing that. that thing where your dad says, yeah, let's go for a little walk, and then mm -hmm. yeah. you're with your dad up the thing. is like, it's more than a little walk, is it? No, no. Yep. <laughs> this yep. is helicoptered off Snowden territory, isn't yeah. it, already? <laughs> yeah. Just to give you a sense of scale, this here is the giant earthwork they built to redirect the river of lava away from the road and down that valley. And last time I was here, I missed this river of lava by, like, two days. Must be spectacular. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Reach the mountain top. That's the old crater from last time that I didn't get to. The sun's directly over there, so I don't know if you're going to see it. Uh, all that remains is about 3k of mostly level ground. That way is the new crater. And sort of vague wisps of steam and smoke in the distance. That's just a burger van. Hey. <laughs> Back at, like, base camp, car park, yeah, um, there was a fish and chips van that hadn't set up when I was there, but they were, they were you know, you got a captive audience coming down. The thing down, is, they, they don't even need to fill the uh, fryers with oil, they can fill it with lava. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's what I was thinking, did someone go up with a bucket and, like, bring it down so they could cook burgers on it? Well, you got to remember, you'd be cooking it on, not in. Like, lava is dense rock, it's not like you'd sink into it. It's well, yeah, just, that's what I mean, it just, yeah. Yeah, it just put a bucket yeah. out with a grill over lava it. Lava grill, just, yeah. You can dip your chips in it. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder about the team I have assembled here. <laughs> this is where the old path runs out. And from now on, you are just walking on Icelandic rocks, following the little posts and the other people. But there are a lot of other people. Stout shoes would have helped there, wouldn't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they would. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's a, there's a lot of things that would have helped on this, this walk. Those underprepared tourists, yeah. or those overprepared tourists, yeah. as it turned out. Eh? Yeah. Everybody that wasn't exactly as prepared as Tom, yeah. they f***ed it up. How was the, how was the flat uh, uh, and chocolate? Yeah, the, the COVID approach. <laughs> <laughs> how was the flapjack and chocolate working out, by the way? D good. I, had, I did have enough flapjack and chocolate. I was moving quickly. In, in fairness, it took about as long as I thought it was gonna. Um, that was Which was two and a half days. <laughs> he had to eat his bearers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally. Okay, that was a brutal, maybe kilometre or so, on just just horrible ankle twisting rocks <sighs> all right i thought that wasn't going to stop for a while i thought we were doing all all the kilometers that way but thankfully here are the people building the path thank you for rock flattening yay <laughs> <laughs> driving along a f***ing tourists yeah <laughs> They, they just have to leave the kit up there each night and then come back and start building the new path. Somebody drove that over there. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm now at the point where I'm just very, very aware that every step I take this way is a step I'm going to have to take back. But over the next bridge, that isn't going to show up on camera, but there's smoke and steam rising from just over that next ridge. So you can see the path has had to divert around the lava flow. And then over that ridge, that's the new eruption. Do not walk on the lava. Do not throw anything at the lava. Do not make carvings in the lava. And I feel like that's just like, don't make the volcano angry. But that's the thing I'd want to do. I'd want to poke the lava with a stick. Mm, yes. yes, it's recommended that you do not poke the lava with a <laughs> stick. Because well, if you trip over, then you're poking the lava with your hands, oh. and then you're dead. You see, the thing is, Tom, you couldn't poke the lava with a stick because you hadn't brought a stick. No, I haven't brought a stick. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. Also, if you're that close to the lava, it's like it's going to be that hot that you can't get close to it. I would take a long stick. I would take a barge pole <laughs> for this. <laughs> okay. We've got the end of the path. we got a warning sign. We've got a cliff. Come on. You walked 6K to not see it.
<laughs> a volcano uh, again. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Annual pilgrimage. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering why the video so far has just been Thomas still walking. Mm. Uh, yeah. This, this, this no <laughs> I mean, there's lots of lava. It's the black stuff there that's, that's, uh, that's cooled down and solidified. There's no... Get a bit closer. <laughs> The eruption likely ended at 6 a.m. yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to put my hoodie back on because I'm now cold and then possibly eat this entire chocolate bar. Oh, British Bar. <laughs> That's the most exciting bit of this so far. I know! Okay, I know! But at that point, I spent the budget and I've gone to Iceland, and there's, there's still. That's the thing. Oh, we know, well, we know you're in Europe. You've got Ritter Sport. Yeah, yeah. Still, good news about the flapjack, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is the final segment you just despondently in the chocolate, really? No, it's not. Time, a it? volcano erupts behind <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> right, well. <sighs> I can't go. <laughs> Uh, you can see the cone in the yeah. middle mocking me. You can see the smoke and yeah. steam rising yeah. as stuff cools. Literally, yeah. like 36 hours earlier, that was spewing lava everywhere. It was... You can very much tell there used to be something exciting happening yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just needs the inter inner monologue of you staring at this, eating your Ritter spot, <laughs> going, at least I haven't got the <laughs> this time. <laughs> it's, it's still an improvement. <laughs> if you listen very carefully, you can hear the volcano going... Volcano, has he, has he has gone, gone yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, apparently I have a paranormal power to stop volcanoes by... Is there a volcano threatening your village? Just, just bring me in. I'm fine, it'll stop. I was about to say, if you really want to see a volcano, just, just go to Las Vegas. There's that hotel that does one at 8pm <laughs> 8, 8 every night, but when you go, it's probably going to be shut for yeah. maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, whenever he goes to Iceland, the volcano sh** himself, and then you do as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, there's whoever has the control of the volcano valve. <laughs> Is he gone? He has! <laughs> I like how we all agreed that the volcano of Alden is the thing! It's one of that. Taurus just walked past me going the other way. Said to her friend, I don't see any orange. And, uh, didn't have the heart to tell. <laughs> Unlike there are hundreds, maybe thousands of tourists yeah, by now, decamping on buses, track. all making the trip up, and like, I can't. I can't, like, be the person walking down going, yeah, there's no lava, mate. Yeah, there's no lava, it's closed. <laughs> like, no one did that to me, and now I understand why. <laughs> because you, you can't be the bearer of bad news. Maybe they already know, and they want to come and see it, and it's like... It's just this moment of, yeah, you're all... No, no, we're the Solidified Lava Appreciation Society. <laughs> and we specifically want to go and see it after it's finished. Yeah. yeah. But today I drove two and a half hours round Route 1 to the small town of Vic, uh, which is beautiful. It's got green mountains, mist, church on a hill. But I'm here because it turns out that if wild lava is unavailable, there is another option. <laughs> the Icelandic Lava, lava show. show. Yes. Is it like Cirque du Soleil? Is it just interpretive dance? <laughs> People dressed in red and orange. Red, red and orange yeah. leotards, yeah. <laughs> No, it's just Mr. Methane following through. <laughs> it's a lot of poo jokes for me today. There is, there is. <laughs> the Icelandic lava show is what you did in your uh, hotel bathroom the first time you were there. It's the tin filament of lava. They are formed when lava is falling over an edge and the wind is blowing and have this kind of formation. They cool down very quickly and look like hair. And you can't really find them after an eruption. And that's because they break very easily. So they're turning into dust very quickly soon after the formation. What you're seeing there is a little trough made of black sand down the centre of the room. And after, like, there's a, there's a pre-show that explains what, how it all works in the area. And there is a guy in the back with a crucible and they are pouring actual proper molten lava down Where there. Where from? Sheffield. Yeah. Where are they getting the lava from? Is They're melting rocks. They've just got a big oven and they put some rocks in it and they just pour it down that track, scoop it back yeah. in again, we, put it back in the oven and pour it again by the sound the of it. All the light in that room, apart from those projectors, 
is coming from the lava. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I know, it's, it's just a screen, and it's mm. difficult to get this across, but that glow, mm. you can see all the light that's reflecting on the faces around, yeah. that's all from the lava. That is that rock, that is melted rock, just self-illuminating. And then the thing up top is a giant extractor mm. to pull all the toxic stuff that's coming out of it up and out of our, out of our air. And it's genuinely, like, it's probably impressive. And then... Just chuck some ice on top of some lava. <laughs> so what's happening here is some of the steam is going up, but some of it is actually being pushed and forced into the lava and make it blow like a balloon. So that's what we just saw there. Just the steam that are trying to escape and actually succeed because they find a way through. And the old lava just falls back down like kind of a souffle there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very French simile. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, so they've done all that and it's starting to cool down a bit now. So what he's able to do... So before I told you that lava is cooling down over the edge of the floor, so that's when I can go under it and can lift it. Because the lava is so defined. But inside that, the lava is still very hot and liquid. Could you hear my gasp mm. there? What he's done is he's taken his stick and he's poked it under the lava flow where it's cooled and is now lifting the entire thing up ah. into an arch. So there you go. I mm. finally technically got to see lava. <laughs> I have not seen it erupting. I've not, I've not ticked the actual sea of volcano box, but having gone all that way, it turns out there is, there is a place where you can go and see lava if, if store-bought is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I would, I would say you did see a volcano. It just wasn't working. Yeah. <laughs> you did see a volcano.